hey everybody got a bit of a haul for you um, I haven't really been shopping a lot at all in the past few months but I picked up a few bits along the way which I just wanted to show you guys um, so the first thing is I placed an order from House of Glory I haven't had a body scrub in a really long time because I just kept forgetting to replenish it and I was using my MAC Volcanic Ash um, exfoliant as a body scrub which is kind of an expensive way to um, have soft elbows so I decided to go back to my old favourite which is the House of Glory bubbling scrub and I usually get the scent Imp which is kind of passion fruity and like, they're like those fruit salad sweets we used to get in the UK when we were kids if anyone remembers um, smells like that, they're just really tropical and really sweet and tasty and I usually get that one. Um, I fancied a change this time so I got Milk Maid which apparently is flushed but demure, fresh milk, clean linens, pale musk and pink sweet pea. This smells almost like Rose Argan Body Conditioner from Lush but it has more powderiness in it so it's kind of somewhere between baby powder and um, the body conditioner from Lush. It's, it's a very nice scent. It's very soft, very sweet. Um, I really enjoy this one. I really like the bubbling scrubs because they are clean rinsing. I hate oily, greasy scrubs. I hate that there's a film left on my skin after scrubbing. I want it to wash away. I want it to not leave the bottom of my shower tray really slippery and like a neck break hazard for the next person that uses it. And um, that's why I like these bubbling scrubs. They're really scrubby, but there's just no oil or anything in them. So I got that. Then I picked up a whipped soap to wash with. Unfortunately, I picked up probably one of the most gross scents ever. This is Ruth, which is their spring collection. And I saw the first note, which was strawberries, got overexcited and I clicked purchase. I didn't actually notice the other notes, which are green patchouli, rose geranium and crushed violet leaf. Now, I really, really hate patchouli and I absolutely detest geranium. So what was going through my mind when I bought this? I don't know, but this is disgusting. This actually makes me want to heave a little bit. It smells like sweet dirt. Um, so if you happen to like sweet dirt scents, then this might be for you, but I just think this is absolutely vile and I can't wait to use it up. I placed an order from Jure after waiting for the longest time for their matte moisture tints uh, tinted moisturiser to come in stock and um, I got it in the shade porcelain which is too dark, too yellow, too orange but the product is beautiful so I am making it work for me by lightening it up with my face Tilia zero minus which is a shade adjuster um, so I can make it work for me by adding a bit of white and then blending really well which um, I'm just really enjoying this the, texture of this is absolutely beautiful. It gives a bit more coverage than I was expecting for a tinted moisturiser, but it leaves this kind of really soft, flawless, soft focus skin kind of coverage, which I just absolutely adore. And um, I did do a Get Ready With Me video featuring this. Unfortunately, I look really orange in it, but what can you do? Um, but if you want to go see that and basically hear me telling you how much I love it over and over again then feel free I will leave a little fancy kind of clicky thing around here um, but this is my favourite ever texture I've ever found in a tinted moisturiser thus far it's absolutely flawless it's fantastic and it feels really light on the skin it's oil free as well so um, can't say enough good things about this wish that the colour range wasn't as crap as it is so I picked up another thing from Jury at the same time, which was this tint in Peony, which I absolutely love and I didn't expect to. I think when I ordered it I expected something like the Becca uh, Lip and Cheek Creme, that kind of consistency, quite a th kind of thick product, quite pigmented and you don't need very much. But actually this is much more kind of watercolour-y in that you blend it over the cheeks and it leaves kind of a beautiful flush which just works with your skin's texture so that you can't really see any lines or you can't really see where you've put it. It just kind of, it's this kind of watercolour effect. So it just 
works with your skin. I don't really know how to describe it, but hopefully you'll kind of get what I mean. But it's this gorgeous blue-based bright pink, and on the cheeks it just gives me that kind of Disney princess natural flush that I've been looking for for a really long time. So this is one of those blushes which just kind of makes you look very natural and very pretty, you but enhanced. You could also wear this on the lips, but it makes me look really, 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 really weird and chalky, so I wouldn't I wouldn't advise. A couple of bits from Inamaska. They had a 50% off code for one day last week, which was incredible. So I went for a blush palette I've been wanting for a really long time. This is the Blush Duo in Katie and Ambition. I've wanted Ambition forever. Ambition is a kind of dusty rose neutral kind of colour. It's got some peach in there and some gold sparkles but it's quite nude but also really brightening and quite... I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's very easy to wear with everything I think is the key which is why I like it. It's almost like a faded brick colour. And then Katie, haven't even swatched this yet. This is a really pale candy pink. Haven't tried this one yet. Quite curious to see how I like it. So I've wanted this for ages but I couldn't justify about 30 quid or however much it was. So um, when it came in 50% off sale I thought, yeah, yeah. I also picked up the new gel eyeliner from Inamasco. This is really good. It's in the colour Infinity which I think is the only colour it comes in which is black. It's a really, really good cream liner. It's very, very smooth, glides over the lids, gives perfect definition and flicks and everything and it's I've been struggling with the liquid liner that I'm trying to use up for like the last year so uh, this is like a holiday for me and um, one thing I would say is that I don't think it's worth £18 it's definitely on the same level as the Clinique eyeliner which I believe is a bit cheaper um, it's very creamy and very nice but I don't think £18 for a gel liner I think that's too much so I think it's really overpriced actually Usually I find that Inamasca products tend to be kind of, they kind of sit, the prices kind of sit well with me, but I think this is overpriced. I did a back to Mac, and this is also in my Get Ready With Me video, and this is Plumful, which is this beautiful colour, which I don't, I can't believe I didn't own before. It's like a plummy pink colour. It's a luster finish, so it's somewhere between opaque and a glaze, it's got some colour but it's also got some gloss but it's also got some gloss to keep it a bit more youthful and a bit more easy to wear. And I can see myself using this pretty much all year round. I just think it's absolutely stunning. I'm pretty much off MAC products as a rule at the moment, but this lipstick I've just been wearing it so much for the past couple of weeks since I've had it, I've just been completely addicted. And especially with this new Jouer blush, I'm just in love. Last two things. I uh, picked up a couple of things from Hourglass. First of all, this liquid, what is this? Opaque Rouge, and this is my colour icon. Fantastic, deep, vampy, starlet kind of red. Um, this is a celebration one because on this day, that I, on the day that I picked up this, I had chosen the dress for the wedding. So, um, I was, when I picked this up, I was thinking with the dress in mind and how I might wear it with the dress. Yes, I am going to be one of those red-lipped brides. And um, this was just one of those impulse purchases. I waited to go register our marriage at the register office and I just popped into Space NK and bought this. Um, just because I was just fresh on that high of choosing my dress and feeling pretty amazing about it. So this is a stunning cream lip colour. And the thing that I will say about these is they're fantastic and I love them and I want to catch them all. These are amazing. These wear like iron on me. I could go through a really long shift at work and not need to touch this up um, and that's with you know multiple drinks and things like that but they wear incredibly and um, I just, I picked up this one and I was so amazed at how well it wore because it just wore so well and it didn't make my lips feel dry or uncomfortable um, that I went and picked up another. So Icon is a beautiful kind of pinkish deep red and then I've got Canvas which is completely the opposite. It's what I'm wearing now but it's, it's coming up a bit more 
orangey on camera, I think. But it's this kind of ballet pink. It's quite neutral. It's got some brown tones in there. And um, I just love this. It really reminds me of ballet, actually. I, think, I would say it's a ballet pink. But it's a very neutral colour, which I'm really hoping will take me into summer because it's just just nice natural classic and I'm really going for that kind of easy aesthetic at the moment so I would say that the paler colors don't apply as well as the darker colors but I think that's true for most things these are amazing and they really really want me to, they really make me want to go check out Hourglass a lot more so that is pretty much everything I bought um, not a huge haul but you know, not as epic as my usual hauls go, but you know, quite have been all about, got to be serious about these things and save for the wedding holla, getting married in December this year, so I know everything that I might want at the moment is taking a back seat. So um, have a lovely day everybody and hopefully I'll see you soon.